Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today is actually Sunday and I thought I would just, you know, film and have you guys join along with me today because I'm trying to get like resetted for the week. I thought I would just take you guys along with me to the grocery store and we'll see what groceries I got. I'm trying to kind of like prep for the week regarding what meals I'm gonna have. So my sister was just recently in town for a few weeks and she just left. And it's not that when I go on vacation or when people come over, it like throws me off of like my routine or anything because I am aware and I am cautious of the fact that like you know I am eating out more or eating certain things that I wouldn't normally eat as much because I'm just have people over and they want to eat other things or whatnot so it's not that I don't know like I know what's going on but like now that she's gone I'm just kind of like resetting back a little bit and like just kind of looking at my calendar what I have going on what I'm going to eat this week because when she was here I kind of just like wang it like whatever I ate whatever was there but like now I kind of just like when I go to the store get back on track and figure out what I'm gonna eat this week so I'm looking at like my April calendar and it's just so weird cuz like May empty nada but like we'll see what it ends up looking like at the end of the month because if it's the make cry cry so a lot of people have asked me this I do not meal prep and I did not meal prep throughout like the months of my weight loss journey and I know that that's necessary for some people because you know when you're going to work obviously you need to prep the food and bring it with you or else you're just gonna end up eating out I totally get that so with my weight loss it was obviously when COVID happened so like everything shut down anyway but I also was no longer working full time so I did not really have to meal prep but even though I didn't have to meal prep I realized from past experiences of trying to lose weight multiple times meal prepping just doesn't work for me it just isn't my thing i just feel like it's not necessarily for everyone i've tried it many times and for some reason like it just doesn't work or like i'll try it for the week and then the next week it's it's done like there's just something about meal prepping that isn't for me i just much rather prefer like making the meal putting the leftovers in the fridge and then like maybe packing up one little container for the next day or whatever the case may be or just like eat out of the leftovers. I don't know if it's also like having the food in that container for like five days almost until the last day. Like I don't think it maybe even tastes the same. I don't know. I prefer making things fresh and like eating that for the next two, maybe three days and then having something else than meal prepping. I don't know. That's just me though. I know it's not for everyone and I know meal prepping is very, very helpful to others as well. So that's of course totally up to you and what you like to do. But for me, the goal is always keep it simple. The simpler, the easier, the better we can just get through this and get through the week. So I try to just think of like a few things that I'm actually gonna cook and like make like meal wise. So like this week I have not had stuffed red bell peppers. I'm just gonna put that down because that is something that I want to make this week. And then I do have my husband as well, right? So it'll be for the both of us. He's gonna eat whatever I make unless he wants to cook for himself, which he isn't gonna do. So if he's not gonna cook, he's not gonna eat. So he's gonna eat what I cook, right? So we're gonna make stuffed bell peppers this week and that'll last me for maybe like two, three days. And then I also want to make chicken tortilla soup because your girl hasn't made that in a while either. So we're gonna do that. And then... I have chicken breast already. So I have chicken breast and then I'm gonna buy salmon today. And that's all I'm really gonna focus on, those three things. So I have my stuffed bell peppers, chicken tortilla soup I'm gonna make, and then chicken and salmon. And the chicken and salmon is just there for like anything I just wanna make. Like I wanna cut a piece of salmon, chicken, season whatever marinade I want, eat it with vegetables, rice, potatoes, uh, make my salmon or chicken bowls, like burrito bowls, like whatever I wanna do. And that'll be good for the week. Other than that, maybe once or twice this week, I might eat out. Most likely, we're gonna eat out on Friday because it is the finale of Falcon and Winter Soldier. And so usually when it comes to stuff like that, my husband and I just like eating out and chilling at home. And then, yeah, I kind of just play it by ear. But like I, if I put too much stress on like every day, breakfast, lunch, dinner, what am I gonna eat? I, it's too much for me. So like breakfast, I just realized I didn't think about that. I need to get avocados, right? Cause I do my avocado toast. Um, I make pancakes sometimes, like easy protein pancakes with some oats. Um, and so that's really that, not stressing about it. And then fruits, your girl needs some fruits. So I actually have a new like fruit bowl recipe that I make. So usually like even with my weight loss and still today, I eat that acai bowl recipe all the time. 
But your girl switching it up because I was like, I just kind of want to try something different. So I have a new smoothie bowl recipe that I'm going to show you guys in another video. So I need some fruits for that from Trader Joe's. Oh, and sprouts. We're going to go to sprouts and Trader Joe's today. I just take a look at the ingredients for everything. See what I have because I am the queen. I'm the queen. <laughs> of buying things that I already have in the home. Sometimes once, twice, three times, and I get pissed at myself. Like, girl, what are you doing? Because I forget to check. So we're going to check, okay? We're going to check and see what I have, what I need to buy, because I don't feel like spending money on things I already have. Who does? Hello. Oh, what are you doing there in my freezer? Wow, I didn't see you. Okay. Um... I'm surprised I don't have ground turkey. I really thought I would have ground turkey. I don't have ground beef though. And garlic, onion. And uh, let's see, let's see. Let's go to the pantry. Oh, <laughs> wow, hi. So olive oil spray. Oh, I need an onion. Okay, I don't have onions. Diced tomatoes, diced tomatoes. What? Did I buy this stuff? Okay, we are ready to go. We're prepped, we're prepared. And what kind of person would I be if I didn't share with you a new Built Bar flavor that is out today? Right now, it's on their site. It's live, but they're only available until supplies last, and it is the new, well, actually, it's not new, but it's limited edition. Now, I just received this box yesterday, and I may or may not already have had a few, but that's not the problem here. The problem is that you need to get yourself some. You know why? Because they are coconut brownie chunks, and anything with, like, chunks in it, like brownie chunks, cookie dough chunks, like all those chunk built bars like those are chunk a chunk of good i have a feeling they're gonna be sold out of these by the end of the day or at least by tomorrow which is why i posted this super early in the morning for you guys so you guys can go ahead and get yourself some and as always you guys can use my code donya 15 for 15 percent off it's linked below already so the coconut chunk brownie bar specifically are 150 calories and have 15 grams of protein in each bar oh look at those chunk a chunk -as. We already know we have to do our thing where we open it in half ready one two Three. Oh, that looks bomb. Mm. <laughs> the best way I feel like I can describe this is that it tastes like you know like those those candy bars, like the almond joys or like those coconut bars, but like better because there's chocolate chunks, like brownies in it like do I make sense like this is really really good it's so funny because every time I go on Built Bar's Instagram page all I see are comments of people going when are you coming with the coconut brownie chunk I'm like what is this coconut brownie chunk that everyone keeps talking about but now I know what they're talking about I'm already done oh it's so good this is like my fourth one already <laughs> Oh, and get some coconut brownie chunks or another flavor that you want to try. Use my code DONNY15. I'll have it linked below. And thank you, Built Bar, for sponsoring the video. And thank you for this amazing snack. came here for oatly oat milk and then I got oatly oat milk so I'm frustrated. We are din done did with the shopping. Um, we're gonna go home and then I'll talk more about my groceries. I'm a little frustrated because they were out of like everything, especially my oat milk. And it's fine, but it's like oatly oat milk truly is like my favorite oat milk. Like no other oat milk has really um, satisfied my soul the way oatly does. Um, but I haven't tried obviously every oat milk on the planet. So I did buy a new oat milk to try out, but like is Sunday like not the day to go grocery shopping? Like it was like they were out of stock of everything. Let's go home. I'm gonna make a coffee and I'm gonna try this new oat milk and we'll see we'll see what it is i just got home <laughs> why are you digging in your pants i'm gonna do a coffee real quick before i talk about the groceries um i think i'm gonna do like salted caramel and some white chocolate and let's try this oat milk i always see this at like target and sprouts but i never get it because it's like so it looks so tiny but like and it's like five bucks but let's see let's check it out I mean, it's really not that bad, actually. It's 
So it's the next day and basically I got home, made my coffee and for some reason felt like I needed to deep clean my entire kitchen. So that's what I ended up doing and I was like, I'll just do the grocery haul today. So um, I'm going to show you guys what I got. I'm also going to show you like the pricing of like how much I spent um, because I know my last grocery store haul, people were asking about that. Now just a few things to keep in mind. There's a few things I already had so I didn't have to buy. This is also for two people. It's for my husband and I as far as the food goes. Um, I think this will last me for honestly like a week and a half to almost two weeks. Cause there's certain things in here like olive oil and salsa and cheese that like is going to last me for at least I would say like three weeks. So it's not gonna just like be for this week. So just keep that in mind as we go through this. So let's just start off with the first meal that I'm making this week which is my stuffed red bell peppers. So I bought three red bell peppers for that. Onions, cilantro, rice, which I still do to this day since I started my weight loss and today I use the Trader Joe's rice bags. You can use whatever rice bags, but I just find it so much more easier and convenient to put this in the microwave than boil rice all the time and that's just how it's been for me. I try to keep it quick and simple. I mentioned it a few times before, but I just want to say it again that I still do this all the freaking time. And then of course, ground turkey. This is all going to this one meal of the stuffed bell peppers. So that's all gone for that. I want to mention a little hack that kind of has changed my life. Well, I'm being dramatic, totally. It is the Better Than Bouillon Chicken Base. And the reason this changed my life is because every time a recipe calls for chicken broth, beef broth, vegetable broth, whatever the case may be, I'd always go to the store and have to buy like the cartons of chicken broth or beef broth or whatever. And it was always like the one thing in the recipe that would just like annoy me because I'd always have to go and buy like the cartons of them. Like I was always out because I never really had them. And then when I would use it, like a lot of times there would be like so much left over and then I didn't use it for a while so I'd have to throw it away. So this has been a life changer. They have chicken, they have beef, they have vegetable and you just mix like this with hot water and that's your chicken broth. Plus I'm saving a lot more money buying this and this lasts for like a few years and just keeping it in my fridge than always having to buy cartons of beef and chicken broth best thing ever. I also bought some minced garlic. It's almost like such a debatable thing for me though because sometimes I'm like... I want fresh garlic and then sometimes I'm like, I'm lazy and I'm just gonna use this. So it just like depends on my mood. Some of you guys told me that you guys live in Canada and New York and they charge like $4 for like one of these. That's ridiculous. Like I could never. Okay, so the next thing that I have here is stuff that I got for the chicken tortilla soup. It's the second meal that I decided to make for the week. And so, I mean, I don't know if this is like the most best thing to do, but whenever I make like chicken soups, I usually end up getting pre-shredded chicken from the store. Um, it's just a lot easier because it's already done for me. I think they like charge for the labor of like shredding it and the prices y'all because it's so expensive like six dollars and 24 cents for 0.7 pounds of like just shredded chicken i feel like is a little overpriced if i don't do this what i'll do is i'll just get a rotisserie chicken and like just shred that myself i don't know i've always found that to be just a lot better tasting than boiling chicken like chicken breast and shredding it i don't know that's just probably me we got sour cream which <laughs> I already told you I was the queen of her. I was the queen of double buying things I already have. Even though I checked, I, ch I think I checked. I was just pretty confident, okay, that I didn't have sour cream. And of course, of course I have a big old tub of sour cream in my refrigerator. Now I got another one whatever. We have diced and fire roasted tomatoes, corn, salsa verde, and I got some jalapenos um, for my soup. So yeah, I feel like jalapenos are a very good price. They're usually like, like five for a dollar or something. And I feel like that's pretty good. Okay, so now that I've gone through like my two main meals for the week, so the soup and the stuffed bell peppers. Now I have like the extra stuff of like like let's say I'm eating leftovers of stuffed bell peppers tomorrow. For dinner, I'm honestly probably not going to want them again. So that's why I always have like another protein on hand. So I got salmon yesterday and I don't know, let me know where you guys live and like how much you pay for your fresh salmon. But um, I paid $19.87 for 2.21 pounds, which it's okay, it was $8.99 a pound. And I just cut these in the piece of season and I throw it in the air fry. You guys already know what it is. And then that's when these come into play for me. So I just always get these ready to go spinach and like lettuce things because make salads, bowls with my salmon or the chicken breast that I already have. Easy and ready to go and cook for me. This is 
my best way of trying to get vegetables in is making these bowls of protein because um, I am actually trying to find different ways to eat vegetables to where I would enjoy them. But right now, this is and has been throughout my entire weight loss. Like my best way to really get veggies in is just by stuffing bowls with like a bunch of good stuff and just, you know, making it delicious. Also guys, look, Trader Joe's came out with a new seasoning. You guys know I love my Trader Joe's seasonings. Spicy, garlicky, deeply aromatic and savory. I just grabbed chicken breast and just, there you go. That's all you gotta do to be honest. All right, so I got some bread. So this kind of actually has been a newer thing for me because I've like been seeing it around and I love shibata bread, okay? It's just fun to make sandwiches with them on occasion, but this is what I've been doing. I saw somebody on Instagram with somebody do this, but I kind of have been loving like pesto sauce with my sandwich. So this is my second time now actually getting this from Trader Joe's. So I'll put like a little bit of this at the bottom and then some tomatoes, cheese, sandwich meat, whatever you want to put in there. And it's been like so long. So it's definitely been one of my like if I don't have anything to eat for lunch or dinner I'll make a delicious sandwich with these shibata rolls Bomb. And also one of my other must-haves is the sourdough bread from Trader Joe's This is what I use usually every morning or my whole grain bread I try to stick with whole grains as much as possible but I do also have other breads as well because <laughs> We do everything around here of course, must have for me olive oil spray. I use this to cook with pretty much everything, so must have. My Mediterranean herb feta cheese, which is what I use for all my burrito bowls. I ran out of this, and this is gonna last me for a few weeks. Okay, so this is one of those things that I always like get from Trader Joe's and just put it in the freezer. It's not necessarily for this week or next week. Just one of those like, you know, when there's nothing to eat right now, let's look in the freezer, and it's like, oh, look what I have, some orange chicken from Trader Joe's. So that's what usually this is for. My husband really likes this, so I just get this for those purposes, if you know what I mean. Alrighty, let's talk about some fruits, shall we? Okay, I actually got a lot of fruits. So, I got frozen fruit from Trader Joe's. I have never got this one. It says pineapples, bananas, strawberries, and mangoes. And that's like the four fruits that I always use in my smoothie bowl. So I was like, huh, what a coincidence. Let me just try this and see how it goes. And then I got mangoes because like I mentioned earlier, I have a new smoothie bowl recipe that I like to make now and that includes those. Also, I I have a really hard time saying no to a sale. So when strawberries are on sale for three for five dollars, it's really hard for me to not get them. I'm gonna use these for my fruit bowls. I'm also going to be making chocolate covered strawberries and they were on sale. Okay, I'm sorry. Blueberries, a must have for me for my toppings for my smoothie bowls. And then I really wanted some kiwis. Um, First of all, they just add a beautiful color to my smoothie bowl. You know, not that not that it's just about the looks, it's definitely about the taste. Uh, but they also taste good, so I'm I ain't got no problem with it. <gasps> what the heck? Oh my gosh! What is this? I can't even like close this back anymore once I open it. Uh oh. Okay, so the last thing is like some random stuff and my milk. So, super random, not something that I normally buy, but Preston loves lobster. So I wanted to buy him some lobster. It's so expensive, man. Also bought some salsa because I have some chips that I need to dip in some salsa and your girl had no salsa, so that's what that was for. Okay, for a snack this week, you guys already know, like it's nothing new, you know. We got the hot and spicy veggie chips up in here. So I always have to buy two different milks in this household because I really love oat milk and almond milk and my husband, I mean, I don't mind regular milk i just i don't really know what happened i don't know why i started drinking oat milk so much i i think i was just like well it's dairy free and it's good and it's creamy and so that's just kind of what i've always been into lately so i usually always get oat milk you guys already know the deal they were out of my oatly like whatever it's fine so i got this one which i had another coffee this morning and it's not bad like I'm still experimenting. I can't judge by just two tries, you know? I need to keep trying. Um, and then, of course, my husband always has just like regular milk, which I drink sometimes too. Uh, but this is mainly for him and like his cereals. And yeah, that was really it. Oh yeah, let's talk about pricing. Okay, so in total for my groceries yesterday, I spent $141.37. And I think it'll last me for about a week and a half, two weeks. So I don't think it was, I don't think that's that bad to be honest. I think that's 
pretty decent what do you guys think i want to know maybe like if i am spending too much let me know like so i can like you know not spend as much because if i could save money i will i hope you guys enjoyed this video just getting a little bit more insight into my week and kind of what i have planned the money i've spent thank you guys for watching i love you guys and i'll see you guys in the next video god bless